Hi guys, that's Dorota Polska International, new artisan educator here and today we are going, you can just wrap them, we are going to do the rebounds on the nails and I will show you how to do it the rebound step by step. So those nails have been on a wee while and I need to clip off some crystals which is always a very difficult task. So I'm using an old cuticle nipper. They were actually really nice set of the nails. I love them. You got so many compliments as well. I'm glad you did. <laughs> so I'm just clipping off those crystals and I have secured the crystals with the base gel, uh, which really make the crystals last a long, nice and long time. The natural nails are really long underneath on those set. Then I'm going to use the e-file to remove the color and your lifting if there is any. And show you how I feel it with the gel. Ooh. So looks like I have cut my finger. <laughs> the pickle. It had been actually a crazy busy day, <laughs> yeah, like really busy. So I'm just removing the color. And then tiny bit of lifting on this side. When you do the rebalance, it's good that you remove the bulk of the product from the pre edge because when we shorten the nails, they become thicker, so you don't want them to be too thick. And so we have used some sugar technique for this set. So that was a, a bl black gel with no top coat over it. And you can see it, guys, it's lasted really well as well. Again, I've got tiny bit of lifting from this corner. And what I'm trying to do it, like the lifting is there, so I'm not filing on lifting, I'm cutting it before. Um, if you have to file quite a lot, leave this nail alone and jump to another nail. So this way the client wouldn't feel heat like obviously the longer we file uh, one place the more heat we produce and you don't want to make your higher, uh, clients to to feel uncomfy while getting their nails done okay so and then i can come back in here again so you could see the part of the lifting just fell out and this one, I will just do a touch with the file or it will just come off on its own, so I don't have to e-file it anymore. I hope you guys find those videos from the sound very useful. Uh, 
that's obviously doing a news when you've got the model like and they all pretty is different story to working with a different type of news different clients uh, it is all challenging and each time we have to deal with completely different type of news And then the next one. So after I file away the old color, I might inspect the nails, and because they are kind of probably next time we'll just cut them off and start a fresh set again. <laughs> yes, they crazy long <laughs> underneath like your natural mm -hmm. nails. Over half of it is your natural nail. <laughs> And uh, obviously the longer the natural nail is, the harder it becomes to shape the nails into the nice shape because uh, they are not pinched anymore. And the natural nails quite often grow down the way, so it is not an easy task to shape uh, when the natural nails are too long. And the last two you can also see how I'm holding the nail like from underneath uh, just to make sure like it's not painful each time when I'm filing I'm holding the clients nails and I'm peeling down the nail folds as well just so I can work faster without of worrying that I'm going to catch those nail folds And that was so pretty, very delicate design, but so nice and so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next step is to clean any dead cuticles from the nail plate. So we are going to push them back. And you can see, I will show you the cuticles. So this white stuff here on the nail plate, that's the cuticle which we need to remove. Sometimes with this small e-file I might touch up the places which I didn't want to file with the large bead. But look how much stuff is coming off like that's the cuticle which is on the nail plate. And you cannot keep it. If you don't have an e-file you could use the normal nail file just to file this all away. Or, then, uh, or the other part of the cuticle pusher and have like a wee scraper uh, you can use that as well Okay, I'm just going to file that away. Okay, and then the next one. Thank you. Thank you. 
and then I put my e file into the reverse and I'm doing the other side. So what I'm cleaning at this stage is the nail plate only. Okay, maybe sometimes a tiny bit of the cuticle which really sticks out, but like I'm not uh, doing the entire cuticle work yet. And the reason for it is um, I don't, I'm not going to have um, cuticle on the nail plate and I always remove only the ones which is really badly sticking out because when we're doing a filing like uh, and when we apply the products I don't want to have like freshly done cuticles um, I do it always before the gel polish application so they have to be nicely pushed back and any tissue from the nail plate removed and then the rest just after we have finished all the filing and the acrylic or a gel product application And I never had any clients like suffering from allergic reactions or, or all sorts of different things going on in the industry at the moment. So uh, next step is to take a file and if you're working with a brand new file it has really sharp edges. If you do not look like it is really sharp like so you have to always etch the surface uh, of those edges and what you do is you go like to remove all those sharp places and now they are okay to work with. I tend to don't remove the sharp edges from the corners here, like there, because uh, I like sometimes go like this and really reach the places nicely. So those nails needs to go, I'm going to show you maybe on one or two, don't want to keep you bored. So I need to reshape them first, like I mean obviously her natural nails are really long underneath, like they over half of the, of the extension, so I'm filing a nice V-shape first, so one side and other side. After I have filed those V-shape, I'm shortening the free edge, so they have grown quite a bit and we need to shorten those free edge. And because the natural nails grow down, I want to lift those nail a little bit, so I'm filing a little bit from underneath as well, like I want to lift it as much up as possible. When we're doing a new set, things are much easier like than doing the rebalance really. Then blend everything around the cuticle area. So all the old product here needs to be blended with the natural nail. Like you don't want any place visible. And then with this corner, which I didn't etch, I etch the rest of the nail. Okay. Then clean the dust and this nail is ready for the product application. Just do it the same on the other one. So file one side, other side. Don't file too long in the one side because if you do file too long into one side, uh, then you are going to over file it. So I like to jump from one side to the other side, okay? And then once I'm happy, shorten it again. Check the lens, shorten it lifted it up lifted it up and then blend it and this is a kind of standard routine I'm doing uh, obviously I'm not trying to perfect the shape 100% yet because we still need to put the product and we still need to uh, file those nails after we apply the product okay. and I do also the middle one so we've got another nail ready so the middle finger is more challenging because we had those lifting in there so i'm getting rid of those lifting file here gently because the natural nail is so long yeah we need to get rid of them and do a fresh set yeah. next time I know, crazy, uh, but I think like obviously in the summer they grow faster as well, yeah. sun makes the uh, nails grow faster, much faster. 
Okay, check the land. This one is the nicest because it was broken last time, so we had to replace yeah. it. So this one has much nicer shape because it's fresh, kind of fresher new. But I want to show you guys because some clients want to keep carry on the rebalance. Okay, those lifting, so we need to file away those lifting. And it's gone. Okay, blend it. And then scratch it with the corner of your file. Just so you reach all the places, like, and if the needle is turning nice and white, like it does in here, that means those kind of extensions are lasting really long time. Sometimes we've got clients which are pretty oily, and uh, even if we scratch the surface of the needle plate, it's kind of getting shine back again very quickly, and I would call that problematic needles, okay? Uh, and then you have to really be careful on the dehydration and a preparation of the uh, nail plate. This nail is so easy because it's nice and fresh so it doesn't have those uh, funny looking shape from the side uh, where the natural nail is growing and uh, that's always the most difficult part is trying to make a, um, decent looking nails out, out of the older set. Tiny bit shorter. Okay and then I show you the fan because it looks really ugly from the side. So I'm going to try to reshape it and if I wouldn't manage to reshape it, I will just cut it and do it fresh. Basically I'm missing a tiny bit of the product in here, but also by filing it nice and straight, nice and straight, I'm going to sort it out. The problem with it is, it's a curvature of the natural nail and uh, ideally I would just wish to cut it and put a fresh one in. <laughs> I may actually do it. <laughs> I will see how I get on. So I keep filing from underneath as well. Just to get this needle a decent shape. And you need to remember like product is harder, natural needle isn't as hard. So you need to file more, a little bit more and stronger on the place where you've got product compared to the natural needle. Actually, it doesn't look that bad anymore. Yeah, next time we do a nice and fresh. Yeah. <laughs> fresh set. <laughs> Okay, so I also need to thin out the uh, free edge. I don't want it to be too thick. And then scratch it. Okay, so that's the new plate, which is all ready for the product application. So just remove the dust, then dehydrate it. So dehydrate it. <laughs> like really well. Hi! And then an extra nail prep on all of them. Wait for it to dry, apply the universal air bond and then we can do the gel application. So I'm going to use the light rose fiber gel. And for rebalance, I'm applying first of all nice and thin layer. So nice and thin layer. Nice and thin layer. Same on those news. And then build up the apex. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so build up the apex on this one as well. I don't need lots of product in there because we already have got almost the entire structure quickly on this one.
remove the excess of it and tiny wee small bit on this one. I'm leaving the farm for now because four nails is plenty for me. Cook it in. And then once they freeze, so a couple seconds freeze and I'm able to apply the product on the farm as well. And then we can shape this nail. So I'm going to show you how to shape it. Well, let me just put it on the farm. So nice and thin layer again. And then also I want to add a dose drop more of the product in the corner here. Like to make sure I don't uh, have any missing product, even if it looks a bit bulky. Um, it will be I will be able to file it away fill up the apex just so we can move the position of it and then remove the excess of the product and cure the entire hand okay, and then once it's cured we are going to shape it so I'm just removing the inhibition layer The farm actually looks already better from the side view. <laughs> and now I just want to shape it. So again, just repeat exactly the same movement I have done it before applying the gel. Blend it out. and thin out the free edge. We don't like too thick free edge. And then the next one. They actually look much better already. of the free edge so I don't need to file the APEC place because I've got just enough product and I mean there is no point of applying the product if we are going to file it most of it so I'm really just thinning out the free edge making sure it's nice and then I can move on into the next meal oh, got a bit of gel run in there so get rid of that blend around the cuticle area and also this needle is kind of bulky so I want to slim it out so I'm going to file it more on the sides at the angle like this one side other side okay so you can see the file lines And it's all just to make it look slimmer. I really don't like fat, like fake news. Okay, thin out the free edge. And Neil has a, like a carve, so I'm just following this carve one side, other side. Again, I don't need to touch the apex, it's enough when we just buff it gently. Next nail finished. This one is very easy because this was fresh. <laughs> and 
to bring the sides higher up, second side higher up, plant around the cuticle area and thin out the free edge. On the next video I'm going to show you beautiful design which we are going to create on those nails. <laughs> okay, and then the thumb. The thumb which we don't like. Let's let's see what we can do out from it. Okay, so I'm very gentle, like I'm really concentrating where I'm filing because I cannot file this place anymore here. I have to get rid of the bulk here. File it from underneath. I'm really thinning out the end because it's really, really thick. That's probably why I didn't like this one. <laughs> blend around the cuticle area and then I'm going to swap it into the client view because uh, it might be different position which will help me file a little bit better because this side is a bit too rounded and this side is straight okay check the client view And I just have to remove the bulk from the apex and then the farm is going to be much better. <laughs> so you can see it sometimes guys it takes so long to sometimes rebalance and actually not sometimes in most of the cases rebalance will take you the same time. I'm talking about proper rebalance like I'm not talking about like just a refill of the color backfill. Backfill is really easy. That's a nails which are like very short time on and most of my clients work with their nails like for a month and uh, over the month so after that time it's a full rebalance but we have to change um, the entire structure of the nail because uh, the structure just worn off so it takes really um, long time like uh, to do it full rebalance on the nails but that's better I just need to charge up in here and then the farm is nice <laughs> Okay, the next step is to use the buffer and with the buffer we are going to um, perfect the shape okay so blend everything around the cuticle area like be really nice and gentle but at the same time you want to blend it so you cannot find the place where the product is starting okay one ready Again, blend it. So when I'm filing on the entire surface of the nail, I'm kind of filing much quicker. Here, I'm really gentle. And uh, you didn't see me trimming the cuticles, um, the nail folds, um, but they already look much better. Just because during the shaping, quite often we touch those areas, so we do exfoliate it with the file. And what a difference if you do it with the hand file or with the e-file. That's another reason why I don't like to do it excessively uh, before I finish those, uh, those parts. So 
after all this filing is done, then I take care of the cuticles just before the gel um, polish application. Of course, they are pushed back and there is nothing on the nail plate. And then the next one. So here I can file quicker. But then look at the position of my hand. So I'm holding the nail from underneath. I'm also putting a pressure on the nail in here. This fold is protected and this one is protected as well. So this way I'm not scared I'm going to hurt my client. And I can file quick here. Okay, then I can slow down and do it. So there are some parts, as I would even call it, describe it like a driving a car. So when you're on the straight, you can drive a bit faster, but when you're on the curve, so see on the straight, you can go faster. And on the curve, you have to slow down. Yeah, that is going that's to be really my new good. explanation to that's the students. <laughs> oh. So I'm touching it up. And here I've got the same situation. And the reason for it is obviously they are, um, the natural nails are really grown underneath. So that's the same situation like on the thumb. next one anyway guys I hope you have really enjoyed it and uh, those tutorial a little bit of theory regarding the rebalance of the nails how to apply the product how to prepare them for rebalance and how to reshape them especially when the natural nails are really uh, really long um, and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to reading all your comments and also if you're new in here don't forget to hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials and actually if you check and if you really go back there is uh, about 500 videos uh, at the moment uh, on the channel and they are coming up every monday wednesdays and uh, saturdays so oh, let me do the fun the, the challenging one just so i can <laughs> show you the entire look and then yeah you have to also watch the part two because we are going for <gasps> nice design so we've got some new foils like and we definitely we have chose those foil that's what we are going to do and then some chrome powders and other beautiful bits and pieces so you have to uh, check the next video coming out there is also a video on those nails and I've got so pretty nails in here I'm going to actually show you guys once I bath this fan so gently bath and then fast okay remove the dust clean them oh I told them already goodbye and I'm still keep working <laughs> okay let's do a little bit of the cuticle work so there is not much after all that filing I'm just going to trim them a little bit and just a wee tiny bit Just really those wee sticking out rag bits and pieces. If you overdo it, the body will treat it as a wound and will produce more cuticles. So you don't want to do that to your clients because then they will have more cuticles. But yeah, I show you my hand as well because I really... Um, liked it, this tutorial as well yeah 
Yeah, and that's the set, uh, that's the rebalance we have done it. And also there is tutorial on them as well. You have to check that out as well. Yeah, we do some nice stuff for you as well. Yeah, sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now.